Everybody, it's the program. Here we are on TV once again, once a day, every day. Turn on the machines, and then we start talking. It's Saturday, and we're here on the couch. You can see there's nobody here on the couch, but here comes Carl. There he is, making his entrance. Hi, Carl. We're all mo always multitasking, are we? No. Or, okay. Speak for yourself, Carl. Yeah. I'll, I'm still I'll try. I'm doing one thing right now, and that's <laughs> the program. We're on the program, and we're yeah. focusing. Well, I was setting up Wi-Fi. So. Yeah, I think that counts as one thing, though. Uh, yeah, today's Saturday, and Carl, you, Carl, you showed up where, where you were over there. Carl's only three feet away. And it's like, where were you, Carl? You missed two minutes at the beginning the thing but not even that probably less than two minutes yeah how are you doing today uh i'm doing swell um, um actually maybe not so swell uh -oh. uh, because medium swell yeah i mean i mean uh i tried um one sort of um venue or avenue to uh finish my artwork uh -huh. and uh the the spray that i used um, it just kind of, um, uh, kind of splattered and the spray that I was using that kind of splattered on the canvas, um, it was, um, uh, uh, a high performance, um, um, glue. And mm -hmm. I was thinking about spray, you know, m making the chalk that's on the canvas immobile. And you know, how do you do that? Oh, I guess I could use like a spray on glue. So um, I should have tested it beforehand. Um, I got um, uh, another technique and, and so it's really kind of interesting um, trying to figure out your, your uh, the path that one is supposed to go on. And um, what happened when you sprayed your glue and you ruined your painting? Yeah, uh, the the, uh, the the nozzle for this glue is like it's not at all a pinhole. It's more like a really narrow um, uh, a line, like a, a slider on a mixer board or something. You have this um, tall hole. You know, it's narrow. It's it's almost like a pinhole, except that it's it's really wide or tall or, or something like that not wide uh, yeah well it's tall he, and thin it, yeah it's it's just one dimension and and so it could be wide but like narrow or any anyway um Long all, and thin. all the glue kind of came out and it was like um you, you know just like uh it, it was almost like Chuck working uh, uh, from a spider's web or, or something, and, and uh, you wanted us more of a spray. Yeah, I, I I did so that it would be slightly, almost like a mist. That's um, what you thought it was going to be, but it wasn't. Yeah, that's I, what I, glue usually is like. That that's how glue is. I think you're yeah. just describing like a glue bottle. Why did you think that glue was going to be a spray? It's almost never the case. Um, spray spray melt. Um, um, th there are um, forms of spraying glue that are you know it, it does come out as a mist and um uh, th this glue what was like the high performance like industrial strength i don't know it, it was like a, a premium grade of something and um, um because of that it, it came out in like strips and and um I, I was like, oh no, what did I do? But I continued to do it because um, I, I thought maybe it would, you know, dry, you know, transparently or whatever. Mm -hmm. And it didn't, but, you know, like I say, you know, I'm constantly reorganizing my mind. And um, so I went to Joanne Fabrics before I got here in order to buy some more chalk and, you know, 
once uh, one falls down, one gets back up on the um, the bicycle, as as it were, and continue on again. So, um, um, yeah, it's 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 kind of a it's kind of a challenge to kind of figure out where one needs to be at any one moment with uh, an artistic design or whatnot. By the way, um, Dan Bennett, Monday Dan, has added me to a, a Facebook group, and people are replying with yeses and noes and maybes, and I replied with, uh, I'm working in progress. Uh, hopefully I got something in like a month, because that's the deadline that uh, Dan gave me. So um, what, whatever happens you're covering, is... You're covering up chalk with glue? Yeah. Why? Why did you do that? Did somebody tell you to do that? Or like, who, well, the, uh, was it the, your idea? You just like I'm it, gonna send a painting and put glue on top of it. it like, why it's, you, why well, you doing it's, that? Uh, it's my de- idea because the, the chalk is it, it could uh, smear. And it seems like I, the glue is gonna smear the chalk. That's what it seems like is gonna happen. Well, the, n- not when it's when it's when it's goes on as a mist. Yeah, but why well the glue glue is not a mist. There's no glue mist yeah. glue. It's Well, no, well, there is a mist glue. There what why would what would the mist glue be for? Like what else what other purpose would this mist glue have? Well, the uh, the, the mist glue of uh, uh, Don't they have like a sealant that's like made for art stuff that you put at the end, like on the last, yeah. like a gloss paint kind of thing? Yes. Why don't you just get that stuff? Well, uh, I certainly have have that um, um, Why, wh- as well. Is that not enough? No. Uh, it's not it's, enough. Uh, it. Uh, I'm. I'm just. I'm. I'm. You know, really. I don't know. I'm I'm just exploring. Uh-huh. That's all I'm doing. Oh, okay. And then there's no problems then, right? No, I mean, well, the, no the, the, it, um, uh, even if I kind of shoot myself in the foot, I guess I don't really shoot myself in the foot all that much. If I just like, oh, okay, I know not to do that ever again. So um, that's you, you know, there's not know. a whole lot of problems. Yeah. You know, it's just. Um, um, I, uh, so is that painting ruined then, or are you oh d- well, the it has it, got some glue on it, it now. Uh, the, what I'm doing though um, is I'm resurfacing it with chalk, and y- you know, uh, it, it's chalk and glue. Chalk seems like such an odd medium to me. I don't. I still am not sure why you're using chalk because you're so worried about Cut, price. Well, well, well but then no. you spent six hundred dollars on a com- on a projector so yeah, yeah, well uh the the six hundred dollars was uh the projector was the, the brightest projector that they had yeah i understand that so then why are you using chalk if that's chalk is like the worst the worst like material you can be using well it's not the worst it's just well, what's a worse? material what's worse than chalk well i i'm not sure what's worse than chalk but um chalk um uh, I try, trying to figure out how to make the chalk um, immobile and not smear. And yeah, so it's, it's wild. It's too yeah. much. I don't think. I think it's just going to smear. I think the, it's not. I don't know. What, like instead of finding ways to get chalk not to smear, I think you should use other materials because chalk's going to smear. It's part of chalk. It's part of, part of what chalk is. You, you well, the, that's m- that was w- what my um, idea was about. Um, um, using uh, what what the um, uh, the spray that is um, uh, the glue spray glue spray uh, they they call that um, um, spray mount and um, but you didn't get that stuff you got something else yeah I I got something else and um, you thought it was gonna be a spray like it seems like stuff that's a spray and stuff that's like a goo. Are obvious. Like, is it a soft kind of bottle? Oh like, no, it's not a soft it's bottle. Like a hard it comes from like a um, like a can. A, a can like your conventional um, uh, spray paint. Um, but that, it's like sh- it's like this, like sh- 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 like the thing. Like, is it like it came out like silly string? Is that what it is? Uh, yeah, yeah. The the, the one that I, w- I was uh, uh, had today came out a little bit like silly string. Which is but it kind was like of a spray can, like sh- somewhat sh- ironic, because yeah, I, w- I wanted to come, you know, from like 
you know, just like... I want to hear how it's ironic, because I don't think it is. I keep, keep using the word ironic. I don't think you're sure what <laughs> it, it is. What's the irony? Yeah, yeah the, 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 that's... The, um, um, hang on. we got to get a, a number on our hand. What's the irony? There's no irony. Well, the... Uh, the uh, there may or may not be. Um, there, I I'll have, not, to have to pick this up after the test game. Because <laughs> knowing how my brain operates, I could, you know, talk about this subject for another um, 20 minutes. Yeah, and about, then we would the, have to roll three dice. No, uh, uh, just in general. I don't get it. There's no... I don't, there's no yeah, no irony. People are saying irony. Um, we're writing down numbers on our hands between one and six. We got up some pens. We're trying to visualize the future. I already did. I already did. Now we're gonna be rolling these dice. Carl's running the cameras and the dice and stuff. So here it goes. Yeah. Nope. Oh. Yeah. There it goes. Carl's still not sure how to operate the camera. I saw. I gotta do it sometimes. Here it goes. Oh. oh, I lost. How about that? Hey, look at that. You won. 500 points. Way to go. Uh, yeah, the, the, there's a the huge assortment of Facebook pictures that, you know, um, from the Princess Bride. I don't know. You, you, I, I'm not sure you know what that thing, that word that you're using, you know what it means. But um, the ironic thing for me... Uh, about this, this spray thing is that you have all these different spray cans uh -huh. that are have pinhole nozzles and from the pinhole nozzle you get this mist and the mist kind of um, uh, goes on on an even coat or um, whatever you, you want the coat to, to be but the can of Adhesive that I was using today was really, I guess you could call it globulous, and it was Viscous, ironic. Louis. It, it was just like streams of Spider-Man web or, or something, and it was like, um, okay, well, maybe I should roll with it, you, you know, when it was kind of globulous, but... Um, Globulous. Yeah, it, it had all these different strands and... and um, Globulous. I don't know even... Uh, I never even heard that before, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it kind of messed up with, uh, with the painting. I uh, 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 On second thought, you know... What's um, the irony now, though? The irony is that the, the cans look identical, but the, the, um, the nozzle wasn't as identical that's or or the end effect wasn't identical. I don't, I don't think that's irony. <laughs> you might be right. Uh, I'm right, for sure. <laughs> oh, no. keep, uh, saying irony, trying to say maybe after I say stuff. What? You're negating me. Well, I, I, I'm not trying to do that. I'm I know just, you're trying to, but it's uh, oh. um, <laughs> Should I just do a face palm for the rest of the program? Uh, let's take a look at the program. <laughs> The calendar here. Today's subject is baking. We're talking about baking today. What are we going to bake now that I talked my head off about spray glue? <laughs> There's no irony in, spray, in the spray, spray glue thing. No, probably not. And I don't think it's a good... I don't think that you're... You should switch mediums. I don't know why you're doing this chalk and spray glue thing. It really makes no sense to me. Well, it's... You know, I don't know. Of course, <laughs> I could probably say I don't know either, but that's just an aside. It's not has anything to do with baking. Cop out, yeah, I know. What? <laughs> how about baking? <laughs> uh, the, oh, uh, how about baking? Well, baking um, is uh, a way that you could get delicious food. Hmm, yum. So that's uh, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, that's true. <laughs> Probably. Have you, have you ever baked anything before? Of uh, at least maybe 
two times. I'm not sure. What'd um, you bake? Um, or, or have something baked for me? Oh, yeah. Well, no, I'm not asking about that yet. Maybe we'll get that into that a little bit later, <laughs> but you never bake anything yourself? Uh, uh, that, I'm not so um, sure. Uh, You've never baked anything for yourself? Maybe not. Cookies? You never tried to make cookies before? A cake? You never tried to make a cake? Yeah, a, a, a cake. You ever try to make a cake? Probably before? not. No, no cakes. But um, cookies, um, I'm not, I'm not so um, sure of. Um, I surely have been. Um, my parents had made cookies for me. Uh huh. Like there, there was this brand of coconut walnut, walnut, you know, like um, oatmeal or whatever else that they. Um, um, had um, created for me at one point and um, I uh, uh, yeah I somewhat mental tripping just right now about how good that cookie was in my mouth but um, you remember eating those cookies huh yeah um, your mom made them yeah yeah. For your mom and dad? Uh, I, to, to a certain degree, I think my dad might be a better cook or a better chef than my mom. Oh, yeah, don't tell her that. Yeah, uh, well, I guess she might be somewhat fine um, with that whole relevation because um, she's busy doing other things around the, the homestead that my parents live at, so... Your dad's cooking? Your mom's doing other stuff? Yeah. Okay. But baking, yeah. Um, you never ba I bake stuff. I like to bake, co I bake cookies and cakes and meatloafs and uh, chicken. I used to bake a lot of chicken. You know, Weekly like or monthly? Frozen pizzas? You know frozen pizzas? Well, yeah, baking frozen pizzas. That's baking. Uh, to a certain degree, no, or well, all the way. I think you're using an oven. That's what baking. You're baking. The pizza. Are you not baking? Y here we go with the baseball again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, yes. I mean, you turn the dial, and you know, there, there's a certain spot that registers. You know, you're baking. You know, these are baking I temperatures. Think, I think that counts as baking. Yes. In a way, you know, it's not advanced baking or anything like that. But no. You're definitely not cooking. The, you're not like putting together the dough or anything, but it's not really. It's really not too hard to do. I should probably do it more often, but uh, get some of that food going. You can bake it. I cooked a lot of meatloaf. So I was eating meatloaf for a while, but I think I, my oven stopped working a while ago. So now I can't bake at all. I gotta only fry and whatever that. I don't know if it's all called frying, but I only have a stove top these days. My oven is is out of commission. That kind of hurts a little bit. I'm sure. Uh, for well, it's fine. I mean, you almost, you never have you ever used your oven? Well, n I don't really use my oven. Oh, you don't but cook, you don't cook anything, right? I remember that. You only eat like raw food, right? You don't even. <sighs> no, that's, I mean we talked about this before, so it's not like a secret or anything. But <laughs> yeah, no, it, it being kind of is not, or very much is not a secret. But for those that depend on baking, um, um in one capacity or another like to have you know always have a cake or a pie you know under their roof and have a slice of this or a, a, a moderate slice of that and and you know or to have a cookie and uh but um to have their oven expire um must be pretty depressing uh, you know, for the individuals. Well, they would that, probably get it replaced. Well, yeah. Hopefully, they do have the causes to get that replaced, have rather you, than. Have you um, ever cooked anything ever? Oh no, I I I have cooked. Uh huh. I just you know, if I'm on on the road constantly. Um, Are you though? Well, I'm I'm going between CRC and you know other places. Uh -huh. I don't know. I no don't time to cook. spend a whole lot of time at home anymore. Well, when I'm at home, uh, generally speaking, I'm there either Nine, creating art or sleeping. Seven, hey, look, it's info time. Five, it is. Four, 
Are you excited, viewers? Because oh, I am. No, oh. oh, man. Here are our answers to some frequently asked questions about the program you're watching right now. It's called Your Daily Hour with me. It's a call and television talk show on the radio that's recorded right here in Thurston County every day of the year. And there's um, every night, 11.30 p.m. and 2 a.m. on uh, Low Power FM. Uh, each episode broadcast a week after was taped to watching this on TV at 11.30 p.m. This episode taped of the same weekday of the previous week. If you're watching this at 2 a.m., this episode taped of the same day of the month of the previous year. You can also watch any episode of the program on YouTube.com. Anyone can come on the program, especially you. We rely on the community for content, so give us a call at 360-836-4384 and leave a message. We'll call you back on the next episode. Thanks for tuning in and now back to the program. Which, by the way, is on TCTV channel 22 at 11.30 p.m. Kind of got away from me there. Bless you. Hospital. Hospital? 360-836-4384. Reject blessings. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, baking. We're still talking about baking. Oh, face palm. Uh, fair enough. I get, I, 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 you know, you know what I'm going to say about this food thing? No. Uh, about food, you don't know? Tell me. You don't know? I, no. You don't have a guess? I'm at the edge of my seat, literally. <laughs> Carl's jolly today. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> It's fine. It's just it is. I mean, no. It's not just an is. Well, well. There are reasons and, and <laughs> consequences to every action. So you were saying about food. Baking. Reasons and consequences in your life. And you don't need to skip over them, or over them with using the phrase just an is. Um, I want to get back to this conflict. And now, now that you said is it just an is, I want to resolve the conflict <laughs> that led to that. Which I don't even know what it was anymore, though. <laughs> forgot about the conflict. Somebody kill his mic. <laughs> this mic? You want me to stop talking? No, no, no my mic. Oh, your mic. What? You're gonna... You know, because I say things, you know, like... Things That's is... ironic! Yeah, no, no <laughs> ir irony. Oh, man. It's like, people say the irony thing a lot. It's like kind of like, liter people say literally. Uh, not, yeah, not, there's no, ir no irony there. Uh, Anyway, baking. I, ba I used to bake a lot of meatloafs and chicken, baked chickens. Because, you know, you can go buy a chicken from the store, and it's, it's, it's not that much. It's like 4 or $5, and you put it in the oven, and all you got to do is stick it in the oven, and that's good. It tastes good that way. You don't even need to do anything to it. Just uh, put it right in the oven. Right. And then it's a baked chicken. You know, you think people will think maybe I got to cook somehow, and there's some kind of crazy steps do all the stuff, but not really. You just put things together and then you heat heat it up and it tastes good. To put tasty things together, heat it up, and then it tastes good. So, easy. Easy peasy. But you never did it. You should do it, Carl. Try well, baking something. Yeah, I'll I... Some cookies. Yeah, I... Um, uh, th th there's some amount of preparation that goes into it. You know, rather than um, a, a grab-and-go bag of, like, cashews or whatnot. Yeah, that's all you do. No, you have no no cooking time. Super busy. Well, th that might be somewhat of uh, a stretch of, of belief because, you know, I'm, well, I, I'm home, um, you know, to, well, I'm, I'm home to sleep. And and so um, uh, from that, I could you know find maybe an extra hour to you know cook on the stove top or whatever. Um, I do have mashed potatoes and I do have um, um, powdered mashed potatoes and uh, minute rice and macaroni and cheese that I can fix myself um, that's all kind of somewhat high in starch though and I do recognize that you know and I'm drinking something right now that's high in sugar 
I do re realize that, but um, here's some. We got a bunch of messages. Oh, hopefully they're about baking, so I can be somewhat left off the hook. You're still on the hook. Oh. There's no hook. There's no hook to be on. Oh, well that's good. Hopefully. Hi, Judy. Hi, Dan. This is Dan. Hi, Dan. How you doing? Yeah, you're good. You haven't got me for a while. Oh, yeah, we have. Uh, 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 you haven't got me for a while. Me too. How you doing? You haven't answered for a while. I'm doing fine. Good. Uh, uh, call me, you can call me. I haven't seen you around either. What's the last thing you said? I haven't seen you around. Oh, yeah, you have. Uh, uh, I'll be. I haven't gotten to you. The Bye. Heat, the heat has gotten to me a little bit. Is that what he said? I hope the heat hasn't gotten to you because it has. I was kind of distracted by the sound in the background. The it radio looks, or TV or something? Yeah, it sounds like that. He's doing the, the um, thing that John Webster now does. Or watch TV and talk <laughs> Which is kind of like juggling. Hello? Oh. And I don't like to juggle between, you know... Hearing what someone says and also listening to the telephone, or I mean the radio or the TV. Yeah, the TV just sounds like. I, I like to single task. Single tasking. The mailbox belonging to oh, Dan Dobler is, is full and can no longer receive messages. To leave a callback number, press five. Or, or please try again later. later. Yeah. Goodbye. Six, nine, whatever. Numbers? Open the pod bay doors, Al. Yeah. <laughs> what? If you have a technical difficulty, that's, you know, you probably need to Actually, break the machine. Break it. If, you, if there's somebody with a technical problem, break the thing. That's a good, uh, <laughs> that's good help. Uh, unless you c it can be easily fixable. Hey, the program! Thank you for calling us for our last leg of the trip. We think we're the more McDonald's. Uh, we'll tell you about it later. Alright, bye! Bye! You're welcome. There's the next one. It's from an unknown caller. Get ready for this. It could be vulgar. I don't know what they're going to say. <sighs> Hello. My name is Mr. Mantunski. Oh gosh. <laughs> I'm interested in making an appearance on your television show. Mm hmm. Please answer. Please answer. This guy sounds like a fraud. <coughs> I don't think that's his real voice. He sounds like he's being derogatory. Uh, actually, he also called from a number that we can't call back, so. How's that supposed to work? Um, not sure, but anyway, Cause... moving on. Yeah. Hey, we were just um, tuning into Channel 22, and we caught your awesome show. Yeah. And since it's our hour with you, we were hoping that you guys could discuss the um, program that's also on tw Channel 22 that's called Dance Only Dance. No. We were really hoping that you can answer some questions that we have about that show. I can, so actually. For it. No! Thank no, you so why, much why for not? your time. Please. I really hope you call us back because we really are watching and we want to be friends. Oh, okay. really? Oh, Bye. Boy. I'm going to call again. Don't worry. I'm a little worried. We're not worried. <laughs> I'm worried. <laughs> no. Here we go. Let's call them back. We're going to say... Have hey. some more sugar, Carl. Why, thank you. Are you talking to yourself? <laughs> no. Just come support. Yep. I'm not there. I'm not supported. Yay or nay? We're not live. Call her. You think we're live at 2 a.m.? Ugh. We're not even live at 11:30 p.m. Yeah, we're not live anytime. We're hyper live. Hyper live. Which is something totally different we're from in, live. We're in a, another time. Another place. Another dimension. But not Rod Steerling. The 
dimension. I think we're in Rod Sterling's dimension. Hello? Hi, this is Marcy. If you want to leave me a message or send me a text, I will get back to you whenever I have a chance. Thanks. Bye. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Murky. It's the program. We're calling you back and where you called us. I can answer some questions about Dance Only Dance. Uh, you can call the program back. We're going to be shooting here for the next about 30 or 29 minutes. What do you want to know? Here we go. We're going to play the dice game. It's the final dice game. No, it's not. It's the first dice game. It's the second one. The second. Uh, it's the second one. I was wrong. I guess I guessed all the two wrong ones before <laughs> I got the right one. I'm sorry. I said the last, Earth. and then I said the first, and that's the second. What are you sorry about? Nothing. My mistakes? Uh, moving on. Uh, I don't want to move on. Uh, I want to talk about it. Why? Oh, darn it. Uh, okay. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it. Oh gosh! Six. And four. Four. I lost oh, again. Man. What? I'm sorry, viewers. Why are you sorry? I don't know. I. It's just an is. <laughs> uh, it's I, not just an is. Why are you sorry? Uh, kill his microphone. Meaning Carl's. If Actually. you want to kill your microphone, maybe it, maybe you can do it yourself. You know how to do that, but uh, I don't know what's going on with you, Jay. Carl's on the mountain. Of do no. Hi Kenny, this is Aviva, Aviva. Siegel. Um, next week, and I was wondering if me and um, and uh, another surprise guest could be on on the show. Yeah. Uh, you don't know who he is. Anyway, um, I'm just driving up to Oregon right now, but uh, I would love to be on this show. We're going to be uh, in a comedy show on Tuesday night at the Voyeur. Me and Lance Smith have been on today. Who's the secret guest? Um, anyway, we'd love to be on. Give me a call back next. Comedy, huh? I'm surprised it's not Cafe Love, because I hear that there's comedy there. Yeah, yeah, I don't even know where that is, but... Well, it's an another place Cafe like the Voyeur. Cafe Love. Voyeur. Everybody, this comedy thing seems to be blowing up. People with their jokes. Telling jokes. Hello? Uh oh. Hello? Oh, there it goes. Jokes. And forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Three. La 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 when you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hi, Viva. It's the program. We're calling you back. Uh, you can come on the program next week. What, Tuesday or whatever you want a day? Uh, yeah, you can call us back. Yeah, if you are satisfied with your message, press 1 to listen to your message. Press 2 to erase and re message review. Hi, Aviva. It's the program. We're calling you back. Uh, you can come on the program next week. What, Tuesday or whatever you want a day? Uh, yeah, you can call us back. If you are satisfied with your message, yeah. press 1 to satisfied. listen to your message. To send your message with normal delivery, oh, press delivery. 1. I want to, do to send delivery. your message with urgent delivery, press 2. Oh, okay. Good. Urgent. Here. Thank you. Your message has been sent. Urgent Goodbye. Urgent delivery. I don't know what the difference is. I always like to send urgent delivery, though. I, I wouldn't know what the difference is Why either. would you ever send regular delivery if you have the chance? If you have yeah. Choice, like, is, it, is it free or is it, like, not, is it not free? I don't know how it works, but... That's a good. That's a good one. Ring a ding ding. Hello, program. Hey, Freddie. How you doing? 
I'm doing good. Uh, I, what, uh, let's see. Yeah, it's not guns day. It must not camping day. Baking. Magic day is over to. I don't know what day it is. It's baking. Baking. Baking day. Yep. Oh, cool. You know, I feel like I always, whenever there's a day, I have kind of an anecdote that happens either before or after pretty frequently. Like this one, yesterday we baked a crumble, I think is what it's called. And that, uh, we picked a bunch of berries and, and made some topping and baked a uh, sort of a blackberry crumble, I think they call it. Ooh, that sounds good. Yeah. We keep doing these food days, and every time we do a food day, I always think, why am I doing this to myself? <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Uh, we need to get a studio that has a kitchen, is what needs to happen. Yeah, yeah, so we can be baking. Um, we need to have the second, uh, the second studio have a kitchen. Yeah. Hey. Uh, oh, this crumble. Uh, Speaking of that, I know we maybe briefly talked about, uh, well, maybe this, maybe it's not program thing, but um, a secondary studio, is that is that still something? It's still up in uh, the air, yeah. Because um, that, you know, I'm down to help with that. Good. Uh, Aviva's going to be here next week. Aviva? Next week, Aviva. What? Oh my god! Aviva's, you know, she left Olympia a while ago. She's been on the program lots before. But uh, she's gone ahead and gotten herself into being a, a regular comedian. Yeah. Apparently like, I think maybe Aviva's the only person who I actually, when I say comedian, I don't think that's that. I, I have not heard her real stand-up before. I don't remember, remember when there was that stand-up comedy day. I don't remember if she did it. Yeah, I know she did. But we're getting some stand-up comics. We've actually had quite a few people who were in, say they're a stand-up comics on the program. They are drawn to it. People who like stand-up comedy like to get out in front of other people. Oh, yeah. We've had Rafferty and yeah. Sam. That might be it, actually. Yeah, well, Sam and Carl didn't start as comedians, but after the program, oh, yeah. they started thinking of themselves maybe as uh, humorous individuals. What? You're a comedian. What do you mean? I mean that you tried to do would comedy. You, would you say that you got your start uh, on the program, Carl, as a comedian? I'm, I'm still trying to sharpen my craft. Well, that's good. I think that you got to keep it up. Sharp, funny bone. Uh, no, actually, it's kind of dull right now. Yeah, well, I mean, you're trying to sharpen it, though. <laughs> uh, you got a bench grinder or some sort of, like, you know, maybe I could... A comedy bench grinder? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I went to the Thurston County Fair, and I saw some baking displays, and there there were several baking displays from the local grocery stores. It's like Safeway. And like Fred Meyer, and it was like a very generic looking cake, and they had them in the baking display at Thurston County Fair. Whoa. Hmm, yeah. They, that's, a, that's where baking turns into a competition, is at the fair. It's probably not. Baking, not a competition. It's probably not too hard to get into the Thurston County Fair under as a baker because there was not too much competition. Hmm. I wonder what the Daily Hour can do next year for the fair. We should try to get not just video of ourselves at the fair but see if we can try to compete somehow oh and a bait yeah baking we could bake something maybe yeah you know i think that's how we, the daily art needs to reach out to the community is you know do things that aren't necessarily a tv show but maybe sort of sponsored or on the show we do it i don't know oh there like isn't that. there like there's like some pie there's some pie contest didn't somebody didn't somebody judge a pie contest on the like before, right before the program one time and we asked him about it? Do you remember that? Hmm. Um. I don't remember that very well. No. Somebody had just judged a pie competition. They got to eat a bunch of pie, and that sounded like the greatest thing ever. I remember that happening? It might have been socks. Somebody. Uh, bake. 
Oh, hey, it's time for a commercial break. Uh, okay. You want to tell us how the production okay. is going, or do you want to wait? Three, two, one. After these messages, we Come on, go eat over there if you wish. Dance only dance. Dance only dance. Live TV dance party. First Friday of each month, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. TCTV Studio A, 440 Yager Way. Oh yeah. Brown Interior Limited presents private memories of the Skrill Meadow album. Featuring the song, Just Because. Oh. <laughs> Private memories. Double back. Private memories of Real Meadows. Available at these fine retailers. Coming up on the next episode of the program. Your daily yeah, hey everybody. It's the program. Uh, we are really gambling this time. We're talking about gambling today, and we're making gambles. I think I lost the gamble today, probably. I might have uh, gambled something of value away. Have you ever gambled and won and lost, viewers? These are things that we're going to be talking about, and a lot of failures and overcoming failures today. So yeah. that's what happens when you fail, and you get to get back up on your feet so you can watch us. Check us out at 11.30 p.m. and 2 a.m. Yeah. Oh, nope. That was wrong. Waking. I'm still here. Yeah, yeah. Are, you, are you using a waffle iron? Yeah, using a waffle iron. No, I don't think it would count, because you don't say you wouldn't say that I baked these waffles, right? Like, you wouldn't say that. Unless they were egos. Waffle, what would you say, then? I ironed a waffle? I think you would say you baked it. Really? If you put it in the... I, I thought... I, to me, baking is only an oven. It's got to be in the oven. Huh. Wait. You can bake stuff over a fire. Like, I think I've baked cobbler in a cast iron over a fire before. Does that still count as baking? Does that count as baking? I guess so. I don't know. Well, I don't know if the crock pot is baking. I don't know where to draw the line. Oh, you can make cakes in a crock pot, though. Is that baking? I don't... I guess, I don't know, maybe it is. I, I, I think maybe not, but I think that it's not really a very well-defined line. Yeah, that's true. You can bake Eggo uh, waffles. In a toaster? Yeah, it's toasting, toasting, baking. They're kind of vague. Yeah. Hmm. Well, um, you know what, program? I'm actually spending some time with my mom, which is why I have recipes and some baking things to... Um, to kind of share, but uh, I think she doesn't have much time left, so I'm gonna go ahead and let you go. Thank you. And maybe call you back in about, uh, in, in hopefully within 20 minutes. Well, don't you don't have to call us back unless you want to. Thank you. Goodbye. Right. Bye. There it goes. I was Freddy. All about bacon. Uh, I think I think we should call Lewis. Because it's Saturday. Lewis came on every Saturday for years. Sounds good. Yeah, doesn't it? Lewis was on every Saturday for years. And, uh, and now he's in Madison, Wisconsin. He's in Wisconsin. But he baked something on the show one time. He baked. Hey, what's up? Hey, Lewis. It's the program on TV and the radio. How you doing? I'm all right. I'm at work. We're closing in like five minutes. You, you're you open like at like 1 a.m.? Uh, it's so midnight. Oh, it's midnight over there. Are you and you're are you an uh -huh. owner? Are you an owner now? Yep, I am. I own one quarter. So you can own, you can answer your phone at while you're at work. Yeah, I can do whatever the fuck I want, man. You're the owner. Well, I, I'm I'm a co-owner, but I, nobody else is here. You can still count. And they still can't really tell me what to do, anyways. It still counts as being all based on compromise. Yeah. What? I think you can say you're yeah, you own a business. That's got a, that's a, a a feat. Yeah. Do you have like a license? Yeah. You have a license? 
Uh, I mean, we are registered with the state. Yeah, why? I don't personally have, like, a business license, but we have all sorts of that type of stuff. That's we have fancy. a federal tax ID, we have a state tax ID, we have all sorts of paperwork and shit what's, that we had to fill out. What's There's a, still more. What's the store called? What? What's it's called, uh, well, it used to be called Four Star Video Heaven, now it's Four Star Video Co-op. You should, uh, uh, make a commercial for us, for your business. Oh. Wait, you you are offering to make one for me, or we should make one for the program? You should make one for the program. Okay, or, or, I mean, we don't really have video equipment. All you gotta do, just, just take a video of it, of, like, the outside or the inside, really fast, and that's it. Oh. And oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, I was misunderstanding you. I thought you said we should make a video, like a promotional thing for the program so people would know about it out here. Oh, uh, but now no, I understand. I no, I want Yeah, to, I want well, I'll make a commercial for the program and send it to you. It's only 30 seconds, right? Yeah. Or a minute. Yeah, 30, 30 seconds. Okay, I'll get on that. We might be making a commercial anyway, so we'll maybe just send you the same one. Great. Uh, yeah. We're, it's going to be, I... well... The, the reason I called you... Maybe it's on uh -huh. Spring Breakers. Oh, sorry. Oh, go ahead. Is we're doing these theme days. Did I tell you about theme days yet? Yeah, I think I've seen them on the internet. Today... I think that happened, like, shortly after I left. Yeah, it did. Maybe. Or there's theme weeks, and now it's just days. Yeah, then we moved to days, so we're doing it every single day now. And today is, uh, baking. Baking? Baking. And you're one of the only people who have ever actually baked stuff on the program. That was a long time ago. Oh yeah, yeah we baked a, a, that terrible cake. <laughs> like oh well, yeah, you and got uh, Andy and John were uh, laying into that guy, and he was trying to make up all these fake arguments, and then you were gonna get him too. Oh the guy, the guy that said the food was good. He's like, this food is good, and it was obviously bad. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think it was gonna be good. I just thought it would be interesting, which I still think it was. Uh huh. Yeah. That was also another interesting aspect is how it created this huge conflict. Never saw that guy again. <laughs> after, <laughs> after that day, he never came back after we braided him on TV? Yeah, well, he lives in Seattle. Oh. So I wouldn't, like, see him around or anything. So I'm trying to open a Jolly Rancher while I'm talking to you, and it's really difficult because it's stuck. What flavor is it? Apple. That's a classic. Yeah. My favorite was always was water class? watermelon. What? I always like watermelon. watermelon. There wasn't too many. There's not too much watermelon flavored stuff, and the Jolly Rancher was a watermelon flavor. Oh. Hey, uh, we're getting a call on the other line, Lewis. We'll talk to you later. Uh, yeah. I don't know what happened to him. Hello. Hey there. Hey, Marky. Yes, you just called me, yeah. but um, I'm not I'm not in Olympia anymore. But I figured I would call you back because I want to participate. I want to make it better. Where are you now? I'm now I'm in Portland. Is that where you live? That's where I live. Oh well, we can you can find us on the internet. I do know that. You already knew that. But. I do, I do know about the internet. Oh, I yeah. can get connected. We're on there. So you can find us. If you can't watch us on TV, you can watch us on the internet. Awesome. You have no idea how my mind is blown by public access television in Olympia. Uh-huh. It has prompted so many amazing conversations with the people around me. Oh, and good. I'm so grateful. You're welcome. So I called your show last night. Uh-huh. But I wasn't exactly sure how it worked. So you guys are currently recording? We're recording now. It's not live. We tape a week in advance. Okay. That makes sense to me. So if you want to... make sure you can, like, filter out the riffraff. Well, but no, we don't, we don't edit anything. Okay. All the riffraff. Okay. It's all, it's all riffraff. <laughs> if, if we filtered out the riffraff, what would we have left? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. But what happens here, uh, we, uh, our 11, if you're watching at 11.30, uh, the episode you're watching taped the same weekday of the previous week. 
Okay. 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 Yeah. Uh, uh, I can say more about that, but uh, where uh, have you? So, so last night your theme was pianos or guns. Wait, pianos or guns? I forget. Guns. No. Guns. Walking. Guns was. What was? Oh no, gun. Guns was yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, guns. that's what I thought. Yeah. How did you know about that yesterday? Is pro oh, yeah. And then today we're talking about baking. Baking? Yeah. Baking, like baking pies and cakes. That's right. And okay, okay. Well, so I have to, I have to, if I, I need to have like some sort of question or comment about baking. Uh-huh. Because, okay, the reason I called, and I'm just going to be completely honest with you. Um, dance or dance? I, I'm from Eureka, California, in Humboldt County, and I'm on tour with a band, uh -huh. and they played in Olympia at a house show behind Pizza Time okay. with Greta, at Greta and Matt's house. Yeah, I think I know and about that. You probably know them. They, that was a really fun show. Hopefully okay. you had a chance to check it out. So... We, before we were getting ready for the show, we're like, what the fuck? Like, public access television in Olympia? Oh, this is going to be good. And we saw this show called Dance Holy Dance. Yeah. And basically, our minds were blown. And mm. the thing that I really wanted to talk about was like, dude, what the hell is up with that show? I think what I was really interested in, because we caught like glimpses of a little bit of public access television, I really wanted to discuss, and this has nothing to do with baking, I really wanted to discuss other shows that are on public access. Uh, well, I, it's time for the dice game. You remember about the dice game? Uh-huh. We're going to play the dice game. You want to pick a number between one and six? Okay. Okay, what number do you want? What number do I have? Between one and six, you pick. That, uh, between one and six? Yeah. Okay, four. Alright, here we go. Oh, let's see, what happened? You won! You tied with Carl, do you want to- Really? No, no, she actually won. Four, no, it's another one. She has four points. No, no. You and Carl won, do you want to share or do you want to battle for the win? Uh... I'm I'm not the battling type. Oh, I'm not very competitive. Good. Sharing, good. sharing is the good. Good. Yeah. You won. Can we both? You can. Can you we both, both be winners? You, you share the okay. win. That's good. That's I good. wish that I could give a high five right now, but I clearly that's impossible. So let him know. High five. Uh, right now. High five. <laughs> um. Yeah. So dance, dance, only dance. We actually have been helping running that show, and they're a sponsor to one of our commercials. Uh, that's it. it used to happen every month, but TCTV Studios are down right now. They're they're moving from their old uh, 90s cameras to a HD system, and they've been out for months. But when they come back, Dance Holy Dance is going to start up back again. Okay. Well, the band that I'm touring with really wants to host it because Romantique said that they played a Dance Holy Dance episode, and I we were like talking about how. The next time the Lost Loves go on tour, they should totally play and host an episode of Dance Only Dance uh -huh. and like play live music for people to dance to. That, that sounds great. Do you have a um? Do you have a day that you're going on the tour? Well, they're on tour now, and they're going to be in Seattle tomorrow night, which is not helpful to you at all. But maybe sometime in the future, we can make something happen. Yeah, that's probably fine. You can keep calling and finding out when we get that studio back. Because uh, we, okay. we, we at the program here are kind of facilitating Dance or Dance these days. At least we were until the studio stopped. So we'll be able to help you that with that. Okay. Hey, have you ever been on TV? I'm just really impressed. Well, no. I'll, actually, I have been on television before. Uh-huh. But... Doing what? Um... Uh, let's see, I I own a shop in Eureka, California called Shipwreck, and... Is it Shipwreck Beads? Uh, no, not Shipwreck Beads, that's in Olympia, oh, I think, yeah. we're in that area region. It's like a vintage and handmade goods store, but once I was just working in my store, and this uh, show that was on the Oprah Network was coming through and shopping for bridal headbands, 
Uh-huh. And they came into my store. I never saw the episode, but my mom said that she saw me on TV, but I never saw it. Uh, and then channel? also, I was on, um, I was also on the guy Ferrari dives uh, and. Guy named Drives and Dives. Well, he lives in like the same like town that I used to live in, but now I live in Portland. Triple D. But right. So apparently, I was interviewed talking about some specific restaurant that he went to visit in Portland called the Biscuits. Uh, fuck, what's it called? Was it the Biscuits place? No, it was like this Italian bistro on like F and Fourteenth in Eureka. Huh. Okay. It's benign. It's benign. I feel like I might have a good television presence, but I'm not practiced. Uh huh. So who knows? Uh, I don't. Uh, you you can don't, always sharpen that. Yeah, I'm I'm be, really don't, rusty myself. Don't be good. We don't want anybody good on on the show. If you're good, then maybe you can do something else. You know. We want bad people. <laughs> bad television personalities. The two of you that are talking to me now, were you both on television last night? You were just like sitting in the couch? Yes. And you were wearing sunglasses and the other dude was just like talking. And you were sitting on like a floral brocade couch? Yeah, that's yes. right. <laughs> I'm the guy in the white hoodie, we're doing so. We're again. Right, you know, it's your night. It never changes. It's been the same. We've been doing it every day for, for years. Except that it keeps on changing. Imagine that. Damn. Yeah. Damn. Damn. <laughs> uh, yeah, also, <laughs> also been on the radio. We're on the radio now, too. You ever been on the radio before? I haven't been on the radio. I was interviewed for a fundraiser that I was hosting. And I do a little bit of commercial work. Great. So yeah, I've been on the radio. Well, check us out on the on the web there. Where it's where you can go to okay. y, YDH. What, do you, do you, so is this the cell phone number that you're calling me from? Yeah, this is this is the program number. Yeah. Okay. Because if you text me the web address, that makes it easier for me to click on. Yeah, I'm gonna text. Tell it to me because I'm actually I have a really good memory. I can remember like details. It's well, it's ydhwm.com. I'm I'm sending you this thing right now. Uh, is it, okay. Here, I think it's going. There, did you get that? I did. Oh, good. I can text and talk at the same awesome, time. Awesome, I see it now. Okay, cool. Thank you. Thanks for calling me back. I really appreciate it. I can't wait to tell all of my friends. Well, seriously, we've been talking about it all day. Okay. We went out to breakfast at the Bearded Lady. And all we talked about was your television program and Dance Only Dance, and the fact that they had cats for sale on Channel 22. Oh, that's that's awesome. Well, you can check out this episode. Yep. We're on. The, it's going to be called Baking, and you can find it on okay. the, on the internet soon. Next week. Okay. Okay. Goodbye. Okay. Bye. There she goes. And that's the end of the program. Oh wow! Lewis tried to call us back. Yeah. I, I wanted to call Mr. Ginsburg, but we don't have time today. Wow, I didn't even realize time was just going right uh, before hey. left, so. That's Lewis. I was just talking to you. The phone got messed up. It did. Uh, I got a few work stuff now, but feel free to call me anytime. Thank you. Probably answer the phone. A lot. A lot. Okay, bye. Thanks, Lewis. Uh, thanks, Lewis. Thanks, uh, Marky. Thanks, Aviva. Thanks, Freddie. Thanks, Carl. Thanks for being here today. Uh, thank you, Kenny. My pleasure. I and think thank you, stoves. Yeah, baking, ovens, cakes, uh, pies, meatloaf, chicken. There you go. Uh, upside down pineapple cake, bunt cakes. Um, mm. I'm hungry. Yeah. <laughs> Six, five, four, three, two, one. Time is thank you, episode number and date. Day of the week, thank you. TVs, yeah. 11.30 p.m. and 2 a.m. on channel 22. YDHWM.com, check it out. Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. 360-836-4384, yeah. Call if you like. You guys want to be on a cruise? Do anything, if you want, though. 
Your first PI, uh huh. CCTV, check it out. Thebearer.com, yeah, it's like a feeling. Wow, Jordan E, fabulous. Thurston County, Washington State, USA. Thank you. Viewers and listeners, thank you. Hell yeah, dog. Woof. Thank you. Good night. Goodbye.